Hello and welcome to Cook It Like Chef Shrimpy. For years we've been talking about turkey and Thanksgiving. A lot of us just doesn't know the best way to make the turkey taste good so we can eat it on Thanksgiving and the day after and after and after and after. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your turkey the perfect way. I have three recipes for you. One is going to be a brine that is going to take away all of the gaminess from your turkey. Once you take away that gaminess from your turkey, you can apply any type of spice and seasoning you want. The second one is going to be a corned turkey. This recipe is going to be the one that is going to make your mouth watering all evening and Thanksgiving and the following day and after and after. The third one is going to be a jerk turkey. And this one is going to make you keep eating turkey until you can't eat anymore. So now we're going we're gonna to go over the ingredients that we will be using in our recipes. I have two turkey here. So these are the turkey that I will be seasoning. They are the same turkey that is going to be going into the brine. The brine is before seasoning. What we're trying to do is to get the gaminess out of the turkey. Okay, here I have a container of salt. I have some pimento berries. Some people call it allspice. I have fresh thyme, fresh garlic. I have four scotch bonnet pepper, which is about a quarter pound of pepper. You can use albanero or you can even use jalapeno. I have chef shrimpy, jerk sauce, chef shrimpy, poultry seasoning. I have a bottle of browning. I have two whole onion, a bottle of vinegar. I have a measuring cup. And I have a pot here with water. In years since we eat in Turkey, brother come and see how to cook it properly. Follow the shrimpy recipe and you will eat turkey for you and me. But if you stubborn and if you no follow, the recipe you will never enjoy your turkey Father come and cook your turkey the way the shrimpy show you and you will eat turkey every day but if you stubborn and you know follow me you will never enjoy your turkey. Okay, let's get started. Right here I have three cups of salt. I'm gonna add it to this pot of water. To that I will add five cups of vinegar. And I will add the vinegar to this water. Now I will add my turkey into this water. You can leave this turkey in this brine for however amount of time you want to as long as you have the storage space. You can do it overnight. You can do it a hour before you cook your turkey, two hours, three hours, it's up to you. First, I'm going to show you how to make the corn turkey. And this one, as I said, is going to be so good. Jamaica people and Caribbean people, African people, this are the turkey for you to make. If you make this a turkey up on Thanksgiving, you don't go enjoy it. Here, when me say, you don't make sure you say, you don't make this turkey. So first of all, me am going to start with where you know, a pimento berry this, and we are going to crush it. And we are going to make the good old corn turkey just like the corn pork where we have down a yard from day one. You know, hear me? Alright, watch this now. When we try and crush all of them out, to dust. Practically, if we can get it to powder, 
we can. If you don't want to crush it, you can put it in your blender dry and the blender will mill it for you. This we put over there in that container. We have our four scotch bonnet pepper here. We're gonna cut this into small pieces. And we add it to the pimento. We have two cups of salt that we're gonna be adding to this. All right. So now we have all of this rubbing together. Best if you use the gloves. So now we have to put everything when we have it at the pan. Pan the turkey. We just throw in all of the corn seasoning when we have it in here, the pimento and the scotch bonnet pepper and the salt. So we are rub up everything in here. Everything we are rub up. You hear what I say? Everything. We are trying to make you get a good turkey for Thanksgiving, you know, people. You know, you don't know that. Try me and try to show you what I want. You know, better cook it this way. Cook it like Chef should be. So now when we put that in it, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to add the brown in. We get some color because you know that we like me dark when we cook, you know what I say? So we can enjoy that. You don't know? And so you go. What you need? All right. See there? Brown in the pan that. You can up your turkey. Turkey will can up with brown in. Turkey will can up with brown in. Turkey will can up with brown in. I'll rub up. Stuff him up well with the can seasoning. So this is what we do. We get a garbage bag. Cheap garbage bag. You can get them at Dollar Tree. You can get them at Stop and Shop. Anywhere on the shop. And who one of them? Put your turkey in it. Take up the excess corn seasoning, drain it on your turkey, and all what you have to do from there is tie the bag and put this turkey in your refrigerator. Or if you live in a cold state, put it out that door. Just put it high so that the animal can get to it. And it will be alright because this corn brine that is on it is gonna keep it preserved until the day your Thanksgiving come. So when the day comes for Thanksgiving, when you're ready to cook, all you have to do is just wash this turkey off. Put the other one in water and wash it off. And then once you wash it off, apply anything you want to apply to it. Your salt, your pepper, whatever you like, anything you have in your kitchen, put it on it. Preferably if you want, get Chef Shrimp sitting there and put it on it. You can't do that said way because we have them. Go to the drug cafe that come out, you can't find them. If not, just put where you want. The key to the ingredients that I'm showing you is already applied. So now it's up to you to prepare a perfect turkey for your family. You're gonna see how many people are smiling. I pay teeth, you better make sure you're cooking off. You have to make sure that you're cooking off. <laughs> cooking off! Now I'll be showing you how to make the jerk turkey. As you already see, I put it in the brine, I show you that recipe. So now we took it out of the brine, we wash it off, and I'm gonna show you how to make your jerk turkey. All right, we're gonna apply some salt, not a lot, just to your taste. We're going to apply some black pepper. We're gonna apply some Chef Shrimpy poultry seasoning. But if you don't have my poultry seasoning, you can use whatever seasoning you have in your home. However, if you want to get the poultry seasoning, which I would strongly recommend, you can go to thejerkcafe.com and you can purchase it there. We're gonna add some Chef Shrimpy jerk sauce. This is a seven ounce jerk sauce and we're gonna apply all of it to this wonderful turkey. So we pour that on. And now, 
we gonna rub all this in This is a small knife I have here. I'm gonna burst the breasts, I'm gonna burst the hips on the outer part and on the inner part. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sink or penetrate some of the jerk sauce down in these holes that I made. So this jerk sauce goes down into these little cribbies and corners so that the turkey give you that jerk taste and flavor that you require and that lovely thanksgiving day right in the belly yes sir you have a stuff two raw onion right up there if two can fit you put one you have a stuff the fresh time right up there you have a stuff the fresh garlic right in there and that are your jerk turkey right there. And then from there, you're gonna open this garbage bag. You're gonna stick this baby inside of it. Tie it up. Put in your refrigerator, put it out of the door, find your table as long as the raccoon can't touch it. Just put it high and you are going to have the best turkey where you can ever eat. You don't know if you worry again. Say turkey no taste good when you cook it for Thanksgiving. Fall and shave shrimp the recipe. And we are going to show you how to eat turkey every day, not only Thanksgiving. So the turkey them we season them and we have them ready. Who knows the jerk one and who knows the can one? So how long have you do a put in the oven and cook it? Then have some thermometer in them. Once they sit in the fly out, it signifies that the turkey cook. But we don't cancel. We are going to use with knife and we are cutting. And any little water we see around our time, we know that the turkey don't cook. So you don't follow them because sit in the world see a pop out. So don't cut on the turkey and if you see nothing around our time, we don't look good. Just make it tender and cook. And another secret for you. You see, when you put your turkey in the oven, we always put it on the back. And then we always penetrate the breast to our one. Once you put your turkey in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes, flip it over. Flip it over. And make the back of it burn. So instead of eating chicken bone, where we love, we have a yam turkey bone too. We have a yam turkey bone too. All right. In here sits we eating turkey. Brother, come and see how to cook it properly. Follow the shrimp recipe. And you will eat turkey for you and me. But if you stubborn and if you don't follow the recipe, you will never Enjoy your turkey. Brother, come and cook your turkey. The way the shrimpy show you. And you will eat turkey every day. But if you stubborn and you know, follow me, you will never.